All right, uh, before we start the simulation, I want to give a short introduction for the environment that I'm using. I'm using ROS Gazebo plugin, um, Ackerman steering ROS packages, and the ROS distribution is melodic. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I've already opened up three terminals. Uh, one is for Gazebo, uh, one is for Arvis, and the last one is for a command node that builds up the connection between the simulation environment and an actual gamepad. Um, so for the first terminal, like I said, uh, we're going to run the gazebo uh, using a launch file. Okay, um, as we can see, a cue card model has been spawned in an empty gazebo world. Um, the blue rays are the LiDAR scanning regions. And it also means that all the components like cameras, LiDAR, motor, and turning servo are functional. Okay, so now let's go to the second terminal and we will launch Arvis. Um, the frame of reference in Arvis is the base um, of the cue car. So later on, even though I'm going to drive the car, but inside Arvis, the cue car won't move. Um, but you'll see the camera feed, which is at the top right corner, uh, and the point cloud data will get updated. And for the last terminal, uh, let's run the command node. Now the initial setup is complete, um, but since this is an empty space, um, LiDAR won't detect any objects. So I'm going to drag some boxes and cylinders uh, to create some objects that LiDAR can't detect. Okay. So now um, in Arvis, uh, at the top right corner, the camera is picking up the object that is sitting at the front of the car. And this camera feed is coming from the Intel RealSense camera sitting at the top of the cue car, it's over here. Uh, and just a side note, uh, we also have four CSI cameras located at the front, um, back, and left and right. Uh, but for this video, due to the size of the window, I will only I will only open up one camera stream. Um, also, I know it's not very prominent, um, but in Arvis, you'll see some gray dotted lines, which are the point cloud data coming from the lidar sensor. Over here. Okay, now let's drive the cue car using a real gamepad. Um, so the cue car model is subscribing to an increment steering command that the gamepad control node is publishing. Um, this is follow, this is steering. And, um, and you'll see the car is driving in gazebo and um, it's mimicking the actual dynamic behavior uh, of the cue car. And in Arvis, the camera feed is updated and the point cloud data are updating as well. So, so the good thing about using Gazebo simulation is you can test your sensor or uh, let's say your self-driving algorithm before you apply to the actual cue car. And you can also do some SLAM application in Gazebo environment as well.